Station and mining family. Crypto Nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo! Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on? So, as you guys know, I've been doing extensive testing with the Pi, trying to get it to mine some of that uh, Monero on purpose. Yo. So, um, you've seen me go through and do the build for the OS. Uh, you've seen me do the build for uh, XMM, XM Rig. And now it's time to show how to update the XMM, XM rig on here. So <clears throat> before we dig it, go any further, if you like hats like this, check out hotrodmining.com where you can get all of your mining gear and essentials from there. Help support the channel and all that good stuff. Uh, so after all that shameless shilling, I know, let's dig in. So if you guys notice here, there's a donate uh, donation and mine is zero if you would like to know how to do that uh, links will be in down below uh, step on into the patreon uh, join up in there and uh, you'll see that there is a little spot in there for me and Mikkel for uh, mining after dark certainly sign up for that and behind the doors I show how to remove the donation fee off of here plus I will have, um, if you have our mining XMR on your P, uh, Windows PC, I will also be keeping the executable file up to date on there with a 0% dev fee because for Windows side of it, it is a little bit harder to actually, you know, a little bit more cumbersome to build it on Windows and then um, put it into the miner itself, all that good stuff. Putting it in and getting it into your miner is the easy part. Uh, building that sucker in Windows, that's the fun part. So let's get into doing this, um, the Pi. So <clears throat> this is just an update because on Windows, I can go ahead, delete the old one, download the new one, and boom. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not how you do it on Linux side. So let's go ahead and dig into this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the directory for this. So we need to CD, which is change directory, right? And we need to get into the XMM, XM rig folder itself, right? So boom. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is we need to pull the uh, the repository from GitHub. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Boom, just like that, guys. That's how it downloads. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to make a new directory. Copy. So where it says on here, uh, new version, it's actually what you're just gonna do is you're gonna call it 5.4.0, which is the new build. And you got anywhere that you see me putting in, new version in my notes I have it like this because anytime that I'm updating I know I can just you know take the new version and input it here so 5.4.0 so now we got the new directory being made boom just like that now we need to do a CMake copy make just like that and then my favorite command make make it so so now it's going to sit there and it's going to recompile all of XMR rig uh, merge all the Merkle trees and all that good stuff all the libraries, the dependencies, they're all getting mashed together for the update. <clears throat> the fun part, waiting. Uh, 
need my. Ooh. I'm out of drinkage. No. <laughs> But I have some water. Oh, high quantity H2O. And the fun part, waiting for everything to build out. La, 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 la. Come on. <laughs> and then after all of this is uh, done compiling and building and all that good stuff, uh, the last step is going to be basically moving at all this that we just compiled back into the run folder so that whenever you type in XM rig it executes the miner so and we can also check the uh, build version before we do that nice and easy <clears throat> yeah I know this is the fun part waiting Forty two percent. Yay. And I have to say that this uh, cooler really does make a huge impact. So uh, if you guys are wanting to do a cooler like this. Um, it did actually increase hash rate, so if you've got a passive cooler on this, um, the arm chip will thermal throttle itself under mining load, so you will lose hash rate if you're just letting it air cool. Um, if you've got a little bit of active cooling on there, like if you've got, oof, let me show, if you've got the, uh, the pie case that my kit came with that has a little fan in there and all that good stuff it came with some heat sinks and all that good stuff um, it does help uh, with that cooler on there it was hashing right around like 98 hash a, a second with five, under five with uh, five watts uh, under a full amp and then since I put this cooler on it went to a hundred hash a second and then with a frequency bump on it it would float between uh, about 99 hash a second all the way up to about 101.5 hash a second. So that's pretty much um, how the active cooling really works. Uh, there, now, Corsair actually makes a water block for this bad boy too. Um, at the time that I was looking at coolers, that was out of stock. Uh, one that uh, the Corsair water block for this thing is about seventy dollars um, so that's kind of pricey it's almost the whole price of the pie itself to, to water block it and this cooler was like twenty one dollars something like that yeah it was like twenty one dollars um, for the cooler with shipping something like that uh, so and it did make a good impact even with that cooler um, would I like to test it out with the water block? Oh yeah, uh, but this one seems to work out pretty nicely as is and it looks like it's almost done making over here. Yo! So, if you see the errors on here, no matter what I've done, um, it always does all of this stuff on there. There's nothing I've been able to possibly do on this. Um, so if we want to check the version and make sure everything worked out really nicely. Um, all right here. 
and five. Oop. Let's see here. Four. Yeah, there we go. Bam. So it recognizes what I have done. Now from here, you can either put version or you can do um, dry run. So I will do version first. So it does show that it's XM rig 5.4.0. Yo, check that out. We can actually run that same command again. And I can put in dash dash dry dash run. Oh, that's right, because this is actually in a different spot. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, so let's go ahead and move all of this where the configuration file is so that I can actually run the dry-run command on there. So, oh, get out of my way. There we go. And... Four. All right. Hmm. 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 I wonder if it's supposed to have a space in there. I bet you I forgot a space. I hope that did it. Ah! I did it! Yes, I forgot a space. <laughs> so, I gotta make sure that I redo that because it obviously did not have a space I'm like, what? what's going on with my arguments here? Oh. And I'll definitely be making sure that I have all of that set up. Awesome, awesome. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that about updating uh, to the new XM rig, um, certainly drop some comments in down below or join the Discord. Uh, all the links will be down below. And if you'd like to remove the donation fee, certainly hop into the Patreon um, and become a supporter of us for all the hard work that we do. Um, I'm going to sit here and try to keep this up to date as much as I can. And I will be also, like I said, be including the Windows update to keep the dev fee off of that. And like I said, I will keep that one uh, compiled so that anybody in the Patreon will be able to keep their XM rig on their Windows machine always up to date. Uh, once, you once you're in the Patreon and, basic, uh, and all of that stuff, uh, if you pull my, uh, my configuration file for uh, the executable file for XM rig that will be the update basically so I will recompile everything redo everything so all you got to do is take my um, executable file put it on your PC unpack it put it into where your miner is and let it overwrite everything in there and you stay in the profits with uh, your XM, uh, XMR rig uh, knowing that well, XM rig, uh, mining Monero period, is not gonna make you rich. Um, I pretty much do this uh, just for testing, more for testing purposes, uh, just because it, it's, for me, with the electricity that I pay, it's not um, very profitable, but it is fun to do. I'll, I'll admit that. It is a lot of fun to do that. That's why I do this. Um, so, if you guys have any questions or anything like that on how to configure this the right way and all that good stuff, um, I'll even show, um, I think on my next video, I'm going to show how I overclock this thing. There really isn't much for overclocking on the, the Pi itself. So definitely smash the Lizardy like buttons, guys. 
subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with any other pie lovers. Um, I'm sure you guys would have a kick out of doing what I've been doing. So with that, guys, I'll definitely see you on the next one. Peace.